What is the economic case for greenhouse gas emission reductions? And what policy instruments do governments have at their disposal to get on top of the problem? And what about the impacts from climate change that are already inevitable? What policy instruments can government use uh, to deal with that in rich countries and poor countries alike? These are just some of the issues covered in the course Domestic Climate Change Economics and Policy. The focus is on mitigation, that is reducing greenhouse gas emissions, but we also cover the issue of reacting to climate change, adapting to the impacts from climate change that are already inevitable. As the word domestic in the title indicates, we're looking at what national governments can do. And we're looking at many different nations. So we'll look at China. What is China doing to stem the ever-rising energy demand in their economy? What is China doing uh, to increase the supply of renewables? Uh, in their electricity mix. We also look at Australia, of course. What were the experience with the carbon pricing scheme? What are the options for renewable energy support? We look at the European Union. What about their leadership role in global climate change policy? And what are the latest developments in the United States? And more on developing countries. What about the efforts, for example, in Indonesia to get on top of the problem of deforestation? And how does that link to the broader development agenda? As course convener, I update that syllabus every year. We want to teach you the most recent issues in climate policy and I really value the feedback that we're getting from students as well. The course is exactly aligned with my own research agenda and in fact with the events that we're running here at the Crawford School at the Centre for Climate Economics and Policy that I run. In the course I bring in guest lecturers, could be visiting academics, could be international visitors, often public servants involved or high-level staff of statutory authorities here in Australia. As a student in the course, you will be writing a major research essay. Uh, this could be on one of the perennial topics of the economics and policy of climate change, or it could be on a very topical issue, uh, including one of your choice. This course is a core course in the ANU Master of Climate Change program, and it's an elective uh, in several other master's programs, especially the Masters of Environmental Management and Development, but also the master's programs in economics and in public policy here at the Crawford School.